vaping has become very popular and said to be less harmful than smoking cigarettes simply because it does not contain tar, tobacco and other harmful chemicals. At least 1 in 10 teenagers are now vaping and it is also used as an aid to help people quit smoking cigarettes. Similar to your nicotine replacement therapies like lozenges, patches or chewing gums. So you have a battery operated device called an electronic cigarette or vape pen which heats up the liquid or vape juice until it becomes a vapor which is then inhaled. Now the vapor can contain a mix of different chemicals such as nicotine, propylene glycol, glycerol and other flavours. Some e-cigarettes have been marketed as nicotine free but they have been found to contain traces of nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive stimulant that does not cause cancer but can increase your heart rate and blood pressure as well as increasing endorphins that help to relieve stress, increase the dopamine levels in the brain and give you feelings of reward and pleasure. Now other chemicals found in vapes in small amounts include metals such as lead, cadmium, zinc, then you have benzene, acrolein, which is a weed killer, and these chemicals, if inhaled over a period of time, can accumulate to cause breathing problems and irreversible lung damage. There are concerns that vaping can cause popcorn lung, which is a rare form of lung disease, also known as bronchiolitis obliterans. With this condition, you have a buildup of scar tissue in the lungs, which then leads to scarring and inflammation in the smallest airways of the lungs called the bronchioles and you get symptoms such as coughing, wheeze and shortness of breath. The liquids in e-cigarettes used to contain diacetyl, which was a flavouring used in making popcorn, and it was found that a group of popcorn factory workers in the early 2000s had inhaled diacetyl leading to popcorn lungs. However, diacetyl has been banned from being used in e-cigarettes as from 2016 in the UK, so currently as far as the UK is concerned, there is no evidence linking popcorn lungs with vaping. Vaping can lead to collapsed lungs called pneumothorax, especially if you vape heavily. What happens is that you develop blisters at the top of the lungs, which can then burst, and you get symptoms of sharp chest pain and shortness of breath. Vaping can cause lipoid pneumonia, which is when fatty acids enter the lungs and can cause a chronic cough and even coughing up blood. Can vaping cause lung cancer? Well, vaping contains the chemicals with the potential to cause lung cancer, but this is more of a long-term risk and there is not enough data to prove the association between vaping and lung cancer. Basically, we will find out in another 20 or more years. Vaping is considered less harmful than smoking, which can have over 7,000 harmful chemicals and can cause at least 16 different types of cancers. Now we have historic data due to over 16 years of studies of how smoking cigarettes affects the lungs. But with vaping, which is relatively new, the short, medium and long-term effects are yet to be fully established and research is still ongoing on how vaping can affect the body. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to drop a comment, like, share and subscribe.